Hi guys, so you've got your Intros to Robotics kit and the first thing that you've probably done is worked your way through the detailed instructions in order to make this a robotic car. Um, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step build video on it because Meccano have already got that on their website much more slickly produced than anything I can do. What I will do is show you through a couple of improvements, that, well, an improvement that you can do to the steering because the instructions for the steering rack are not great and also show you how to put a program into this Mecha Brain from the uh, Meccano app so that it will actually move under its own steam rather than you controlling the servos directly um, because again there's very little in the way of explanation in the uh, instructions here as to how to do that so hopefully this will be of use to somebody trying to figure it out The instructions for the serving rack are somewhat misleading You've got this, which is, is sort of like it, but what it doesn't show is that you need a second screw in on that last hole there to uh, make the uh, steering more firm. And also, when you get to the picture on the other side, it only shows one steering arm, and, and that doesn't work for you either. So, ideally, what you do is make it up like this. Two steering arms connected, but bolted in, at two different places and that will give you a much more firm responsive um, you know input on the steering rack um, so that's what you need to set up on that everything else is pretty much as it's uh, shown you and then we'll move on to what you need to do to program it now the program instructions in here this to be frank they are, are, are pretty useless they don't appear to do anything of any sense I'm not going to recommend them so um, ignore those and and take a look at what I'm going to show you now hi guys first of all you need to have the Meccano app installed on your phone I have shown in a previous video how to install that from the Play Store um, I'll uh, stick a link to that video at the end of this uh, video so that you can get there if you don't know how to do that but presuming you've got it down we start it going and that will come into here. Just waiting for just waiting for it to go through its systems. You need to click for set 10, which is loading. And then you want the programming tool. Now if you say I want to work offline what you're going to find is that a lot of the a lot of these options are faded out and that's no use to you because you're going to need to put some of these into the um, into the programming so what you need to do to go back is make sure that your mecha brain is turned on go to programming tool it will search for it there we go we're connecting to it I'm using the AA battery pack and now I'm on here now what you do you will now find that you've got all the options so this program is going to be starts off with rotate channel server and we're going to change this to 135 degrees instead of 90 so that's going to go from there to there we go that's that we then want this repeat and we're going to repeat that by, by clicking on it you bring that up there we're going to change that value to 3 we're ok in that we're then going for another action which is going to be roll this forward and that clicks and drops in there we want roll motor not forward at a speed slow for one meter uh, we're going to change that we'll change that to 0.3 of a meter done okay I'm going to Add another action in which is 
Bro Tip, channel servo to 100 degrees. Now, the channel servo is well to 105 degrees. That's that's near enough. The channel servo is the steering, and the motor is is the drive motor. So what we're doing here is is changing the steering and making it set up for these turns. We need another one there, so Whoa. we're going to roll motor nil, but this time we're going to roll it backwards. That's speed slot, and again for come on. Again for no point three meters, and that's done. Okay, and then one more on the action. We're going to another change on the steering. You might want to play around with these settings to find ones that you feel are working better for what you want it to do and clearly you might want to do it to do other motions than this so up to you to figure what those settings would be that's part of the fun i do have to again give credit to alan lovett who's figured all this programming out um whilst i can understand what he's done afterwards um he's the guy who's figured out in the first place so one more action to put into it Change that to 135. There we go. And so we're done. And then we press launch. We'll just pause this here to allow you to copy the program if you didn't get it earlier. If you do want to know about more about this kind of programming, then YouTube has a lot of instructional videos. You want to be looking for block programming or drag and drop programming, and they'll take you to points. They'll teach you a lot more about how this thing works in detail. So here we are, and we're going to press launch on this. And that brings us to the car, which starts moving. And it's going through the various commands you've put into that. There with it. If, I was, if you could see the screen at the same time, it would be going through the uh, program whilst it was doing it. Why have we stopped? I don't know. No, there we go. We're going again. The turn settings clearly aren't perfect, and you'd need to bugger about with the settings to be exact, but it is following the commands that have been put into it. Slowly. Not as quickly as we would hope. But there we are. We have movement. And clearly you can, you know, be, that that's how the programming system of it works. Up to you to figure out what movements you want to make it do and, and adapt the programming in keeping with that. Um, just to show you the on the screen, it's going through the logic of it now and doing it. Again, we appear to have paused. I don't think we've come to the end of the programming, and I'm not saying this is ideal, but... You need to figure out where you are with that. But that gives you an idea of how to set a program up and how to set it going. Which I'm sure any faults in this are down to me, not to Alan. But that gives you an idea of how to start it. We haven't covered the IR sensor as yet. Don't know what to do quite with that. But once we've got that figured out, we'll do another video on that. Cheers.